Hi friends, we are going to discuss the difference and the relationship between the three economic terms inflation, recession and stagflation. We will start with inflation. Inflation is a state of the economy where money loses its value and goods and services gain in value. So basically money is losing its value and the value of goods and services is increasing. So such a state is called inflation. Uh, let's uh, understand with a simple example. Let's say I am going to the market to buy 1 kilogram of apple. 1 kilogram of apple costs rupees 100. Now after a week I am going to the same market to buy the same 1 kilogram of apple. Now the cost of apples has increased to rupees 150. Now what this means? It means that the cost of the good which is the apple has risen that is the value of the apple has risen has increased and the corresponding value of the currency rupees has gone down. So this state of economy is called inflation. Inflation is mainly caused due to two factors. The first factor is demand pull factor and the other factor is cost push factor. Demand pull inflation is mainly caused due to increased demand for goods and services among people in the economy. Generally this happens whenever the disposable income in the hands of people increases. In such situation everybody will try to buy as much goods and services as possible. Now this increased demand may not be satisfied by a corresponding increase in the supply. So this causes inflation from the demand side. This is called demand pull inflation. Let's take the same example of Apple. Assume if the income of everybody is increasing. Now everyone will try to buy as much apples as possible. Is it not? Everybody will try to have better nutrition security. Now if everybody tries to buy more apples, there won't be corresponding supply of apples in the market. So the supply may not be able to match the demand. Now this will cause demand pull inflation. The other factor is cost to push inflation. Under this, the demand will be the same. There won't be any change in the demand. But from the supply side, from the production side, there could be some problems. For example, the cost of production may get increased. Let's say the cost of crude oil price is increasing. Now what would, uh, will this do? The cost of diesel will also increase. Now the trucks transporting apples, they run on diesel. Now if the price of diesel get increased, the prices of apple will also get increased. Now, the price of the good is increasing from the supply side or from the production side. This type of inflation is called cost push inflation. Sometimes cost push inflation may also be caused due to increase in indirect taxes levied by the government. So this is basically demand pull inflation and cost push inflation. There are many reasons under demand pull and cost push inflation. Let's not go in depth into that. Next is recession. Recession is a state of economy where the economic growth rate or the GDP growth rate falls sharply and almost reaches nil. This state is called recession. There is no agreed definition of recession. Generally, when the growth rate falls down drastically and almost reaches a plateau, that stage is called recession. Some European countries define recession as a stage in which the economy experiences two consecutive quarters wherein there is negative growth rate. So generally, whenever the economic growth rate falls drastically and almost becomes nil, then that stage is called recession. Generally, recession and inflation are inversely related to each other. 
whenever there is some inflation it means that the economy is growing the reason is that only if there is some demand in the economy there would be some inflation and so the economy is growing so whenever there is some amount of inflation there is a uh, that is a good indicator that the economy is growing the economy has not stalled it is in a healthy state now if there is a recession generally there won't be inflation the reason is that there won't be much demand in the economy since the economic growth rate itself has stalled people won't have uh, much income in their hands they, there won't be much jobs in the economy so here the demand will fall and naturally the inflation will also drastically fall so inflation and recession these two are inversely related to each other so whenever there is inflation there won't be recession but in some cases in some rare circumstances inflation and recession may coexist such a dangerous situation is called stagflation stagflation means combination of inflation as well as recession so the word stag here refers to stagnation which means recession this stagflation is very dangerous for any economy stagflation happens under certain circumstances generally after a long period of recession the government will try to trigger the economic growth rate again in such cases the government will pump liquidity or money into the economy into the system at this point in time suddenly there will be an increased demand which leads to inflation in the economy so in such a scenario there would be inflation as well as recession so this state is called stagflation stagflation is more dangerous than inflation as well as recession there are some other reasons for stagflation also whenever there is a uh, sudden uh, shortfall or shock in the supply side for example whenever uh, there is a sudden shortage of important uh, raw material such as uh, crude oil then under such circumstances also there would be stagflation because the cost of production would be high causing inflation and at the same time the producers won't actually go for more production due to the increased cost of raw material in such circumstances also inflation will coexist with recession so this is stagflation thank you